Hello everyone. September witnessed several key global events that influenced market performance, particularly central bank decisions. The US Federal Reserve's rate cut stood out as major development, providing global markets with renewed momentum. Looking ahead, global markets will keep a close watch on the outcome of the US presidential elections as well as incoming macroeconomic data from the US, both of which have potential implications for market sentiments. Any escalation in geopolitical tensions or unexpected results from the US elections could introduce volatility into the markets. The Chinese government has taken some serious steps to stimulate its economy. Resultantly, the Chinese equity markets have seen a sharp up move, taking global emerging market investors by surprise. There is a risk of some short-term FPI flows which can move to China from India. However, this does not change the structural story of India being a great place for long-term investors given favorable growth dynamics and demography. In fact, long-term foreign flows in India should increase as overall dynamics for emerging markets as an investment destination improve. Back home, the earnings growth momentum for corporate India seems to be slowing down on the margin. And we need to monitor Q2 corporate earnings report, the outcomes of state elections in Maharashtra, and trends in festive season demand very closely to get the cues for the near term. First time after COVID, rural and mass consumption seems to be better placed versus urban and premium consumption, thanks to the increased social spending by state governments, good monsoons, and good farm economics due to higher food inflation. We are positive on banking, FMCG, pharma, and building material sectors. In the light of current market conditions, investors would do well to focus on segments that offer relative valuation comfort. Large cap stocks offer better risk reward mix versus mid caps and small caps. Investors can also offer well managed hybrid products like multi asset funds and balance advantage funds. Remember, preserving wealth sometimes takes precedence over creating wealth. Happy investing! Mutual fund investments are subject to market risk. Read all scheme related documents carefully.